As you can see, I have all the parts laid out here, completely deburred and completely prepped. Which have locating pins. We have our splice plates, which have locating holes. And we have our cross bearer, which has a correlating slot. We have our intermediate brace, which has a top and a bottom. I'm going to start here by putting my uh, splice plates into the cross bearer, like so. They, once they go in, they snap in almost perfectly. So as soon as I got one in its locator, I go ahead and clamp it. Okay, now I have uh, the, uh, all the clamps, everything's clamped together. I went ahead and I alternated my clamps so that I can glue in a zigzag here. It's very important that when you do your gluing, it's on a very hard, flat. So I'm going to move over here to a hardest, flattest surface I have in the build. You want to take your cross bearers and press them down against your flat surface. Again, starting in the middle. I'm going to put a generous amount of glue on the inside, being careful not to overflow to the outside. Press down here. We're going to build this bridge with the thin section toward the top of the bridge. And you'll find that some of these are tight, so we'll go ahead and make them, we're going to loosen them up to make it easier to install. So I'm going to go through each one and pre-assemble it one time to make them looser. So now I'm going to leave one on the end and we'll go right on over here to the assembly. I'm going to start threading these through the cross barrel. So you, you thread your first half up to this point in the center. I'm just going to leave it sticking through slightly in the center. And I grab my second half. Start it through the cross bearer. Now this is why these are uh, sanded and tapered on the ends so we can pass them through the center. Once I get this one pushed through, I'll push them both through like so. Lastly, we install our end caps. Now I take my end cap on the outside of the locators. You just tilt it up into place here. We'll give it a gentle squeeze. Okay, now gluing. Move to the other end and repeat. I will apply some weight to it. You could uh, use two by fours uh, rather than weights, uh, four by fours. Uh, if you don't feel that your two by fours are heavy enough, you could cut them enough to the, and put masonry bricks over the tops of them. And we'll pick this up again in the morning and do the final uh, detailing on the bottom.